I would say at least five times heavier than those, five times beefier. And just look at the size comparison. This thing's a monster. $1,000, Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. So unfortunately, I have been uh, out of commission for about two weeks on the videos. Uh, there's a lot of home projects I had to catch up on, but I did film, I just didn't edit, so sorry for not coming out with videos, but videos are starting back up again three, three days a week. I'll have some videos out for you guys, so be sure to like, subscribe, comment, dislike, do whatever you want, but videos are coming out, so let's jump back into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today I did another stupid thing. I decided I needed more cabinets. Why, you may ask? Well, look behind me here. There's still a bunch of clutter. I'm sick of clutter. I don't want to see it anymore. Um, and there's also a lot of home maintenance stuff I don't want in my workspace. So, I took it upon myself to order another set of new age garage cabinets, but not the exact same ones. New Age has three uh, different types of garage cabinets. These ones were the cheapest ones um, for $1,000. Then there's the next step up, which I purchased for this section of the garage, which is uh, $2,100. It's a thicker gauge metal, uh, taller cabinet, deeper cabinet. Since I needed more cabinets, I decided I would get slightly different so uh, I could give you guys a review on that. So I gotta remove all this clutter, the cabinets should be arriving soon, I gotta install the cabinets and then I'm done. I'm done with this garage build. Now I'm gonna start working on my cars. So there's the project car, let's get this done so you can watch that get worked on. Stay tuned. guys so here it is the new shipment of new age cabinets this is the new age pro series which is more expensive than the bold series uh, the pro series has heavier duty metal uh, different dimensions they are taller uh, and deeper and wider than the current uh, bold series so let's jump into the pro series Set it up on that wall and see how they look. All right guys, as per usual, nice packaging. Nothing's damaged that I can see so far. Uh, so two cabinets inside, oh no, three. In there, the two head units and then the drawers. Um, and I'm going to unload this one so then I can unload this one. But my afterthought, stupidly enough, was to move all of these because uh, these are less heavy duty and put them here and then put this new one over there. But as luck would have it, <laughs> my new outlets are two inches too low for the new cabinets height. So, such is life. New cabinets will go along this wall, which is perfect. These cheaper cabinets will get a lot more use because I'll be using them more in this area. And we'll see how they hold up quicker. And if they uh, get damaged quicker with a lot of use, and that will give you a mechanics, mechanic, like I'm a mechanic, mechanics uh, uh, usability on these cabinets 
with heavier things going on there, scratching durability, see how those hold up. And then this one will be just for my household goods, uh, household goods, but there's a lot of house maintenance that I have to do in this house anyway. So these will get used quite a bit actually. Um, and we'll go from there. So time to assemble. I just spat on the lens. Shit. So it started raining, um, but as you can see, here is most of the cabinets done up. They are, I would say, at least five times heavier than those, five times beefier. And just look at the size comparison. This thing's a monster. $1,000, $2,000, $2,200, $1,100. So exactly double price. 
But look at that. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So right now we're just gonna secure these two to the wall because this is the setup on this one. And then I'm gonna secure that big one to the wall. And then it should be done. Um, but yeah, I can tell you right off the bat, this is far more sturdy than this one. As I've shaken this before. Like you can see it's, it's just different, completely different. And look at the size difference. So I, I, I don't know, right now I'm thinking that's more bang for your buck than that. Far more storage, higher quality. Unfortunately, there's a little scratch on this one uh, right there and on this door. But I'll go through that when it's finally done. Uh, but yeah, I would say initial impressions, impressions, far more better for this one than this one. So let me finish uh, assembling all of this and then I'll give you a final look. dream garage build series this is the last thing I needed the rest of the stuff will just be what I do in my garage so as you can see that's the $1,100 set look at the size difference right there and this is the $2,200 set uh, I must say I was impressed with those but now that I see these I'm super impressed with these um, but yeah, over the next couple weeks, months, I will be doing or using them non-stop uh, for everything I do now. So I'm, I'm done working on the garage. I hope. Well, it will never be done. But I'm done assembling stuff. These cabinets, oh my goodness. Sturdy, big, heavy. As I said earlier, five times heavier. Uh, these drawers are cool they come with these dividers here so all my lights and bolts that are loose in there i'll be able to put in here uh but yeah this this cabinet set here will be for all my home maintenance stuff uh you know my weed whackers and whatever can go in these tall big cabinets but it is it's pretty dark on the camera here so normally you know i'm filming on that side of the garage where i got extra light so sorry about that but anyways this is great I'm glad I have it. Um, now I can get rid of this workbench behind me. But now I can start organizing. I'm not gonna bore you guys with organizing videos. Uh, but thanks again for watching. Uh, if you haven't watched all the other videos, be sure. I think there's 12 or 13 videos out about building this dream garage and all the different aspects of it from uh, car lifts to tools to to cabinets obviously I've got three different sets I I've just showed you what I've built I haven't talked about why I chose certain things so there'll be a video or two on that uh, but not you know no time-lapse or, or, or whatnot on that video it will just be me talking about why I chose certain tools and certain certain things so thanks again be sure to like and sh subscribe if you find this stuff interesting. Um, the reason I've, I, I decided to not get the, I could have got two more of these and it would have filled this whole wall or one of these. I chose this one because I thought you guys would want to see the difference between the Bold and the Pro Series New Age cabinets because they are awesomely priced at Costco 
and yeah that's why i did that so hopefully you guys can get some use and understanding if you have any questions about the differences uh i have them so just leave it in the comments below i can show you whatever you want so thanks again until next time